Late this spring, Mohammed Salah Haji Musa, a Syrian fighter seeking to overthrow President Bashar al-Assad, was attacking a government checkpoint when something went wrong. His rifle exploded. His hands were left twisted and scarred. The explosion might easily have killed him. <laughs> Mr. Musa was a victim of one of the modern battlefield's dirty tricks. The secret salting of anti-government fighters' supply lines with tainted ammunition that erupts inside weapons, often wounding and sometimes killing the fighters while destroying many of their hard-found arms. This is C.J. Chivers reporting for the New York Times. The Syrian military has escalated its use of force throughout the war, now in its 19th month, trying to contain an expanding and increasingly lethal insurgency, challenging a government that once was supreme. Interviews in Syria, as well as the examination of shattered rifles and the contents of a booby-trapped cartridge, uncover one of the government's tactics, surreptitiously distributing so-called hot ammunition since early this year. The doctored ammunition appears identical to ordinary ordnance. It is made by substituting the propellant inside cartridges with a high explosive that detonates when an unsuspecting gunman tries to fire his weapon. This tactic has a long history in war, but is not often documented in public as it occurs. The British and German militaries used the tactic in World War II. The United States developed exploding Kalashnikov ammunition in the 1960s, which it then leaked into Vietnam. The Pentagon has run similar programs in Iraq and Afghanistan in the past 10 years. The programs appear to leave tantalizing signs of their presence and risks, as here, where American contractors in Iraq were firing a Kalashnikov assault rifle and apparently hit one of the rounds. Whoa! Rifle cartridges are only one element of the programs. Governments also distribute mortar rounds that explode in their tubes, or booby-trapped hand grenades that have a fuse that explodes instantaneously. In Iraq, the tactic has been one of the staples of American efforts to kill or dissuade insurgent mortar teams. This video of an insurgent demonstrates the effects such weapons can have. The Pentagon declined to comment about its programs distributing booby-trapped weapons in Afghanistan and Iraq. The tactic is controversial and its legality uncertain, as it is potentially indiscriminate. Once distributed onto the battlefield, leaked into supply lines, these kinds of weapons are almost impossible to trace or to contain.